Greetings everyone and welcome to Parkasaurus, a new series for the channel where we're going to be checking out the early access title, well, Parkasaurus. As you can guess from everything we're seeing here, this is first and foremost a game in early development. It is an early access game. It will have released by the time you see this video. It will be going live around the time the, the game comes into early access on Steam. It is being developed by two developers, um, which is actually quite impressive given the the scope and, and and the polish that's already on the game now i'll get the early and obvious comparisons out of the way this is not jurassic world in any way this is has more in common with theme park and other um more well not cartoonish but more stylized tycoon games whereas jurassic world was well let's let's be honest it was just a tie-in to a movie franchise really but uh, this is very much a tycoon game first and foremost and so it has a lot more gamey elements to it but as with every game it is better to show than to describe so let's jump in and start a fresh game uh we're gonna start a standard game i think we could go customize and just make any kind of game we want but no we'll, we'll go through what the game has to offer right now now i don't know how much there is simply because uh we well we don't know uh, we're only halfway through if we if we assume that version one is 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 the goal then uh, we're only halfway through development but new game uh we're not gonna skip the tutorial no 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 let's go and find out how to make a park shall we i think it's gonna be grand now i have had about um, 30 40 minutes worth of game time in this already to uh, familiarize myself with it a little bit yeah. Alas the dinosaurs crashed on our planet. I mean, it's it's, it's kind of ironic really consider why I'm to the dinosaurs uh, Thankfully, uh, they seem to be fairly fairly happy and uh, I've been to I... Spacesuits, I mean the space helmets are all well and good, but spacesuits Surely. Ah, uh, I don't know. What's the name of your park? Well, obviously, in Dapper Dell. Let's get you going. Welcome, Commander Ollie here. It's nice to meet you, human. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Commander Ollie. Welcome to your first dinosaur park. I will be looking into ways we can enhance the well-being of our dino friends. This looks like a big empty area to set up our dino dinosaur park. There's quite a lot of garbage around, but every great dinosaur park has to start somewhere. But first things first. Navigating around your park is easy and important. Let's give it a try. Okay, Ollie. Uh, pan the camera, move the camera around. So, zooming in. Can right mouse button. Panning. There we go. Just got to do some panning. There we are. And there we go. And then rotation. Press Q or E. There we are. Good job. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you appreciate it. It was very, very hard, but I put, did my best. Uh, your first exhibit. Science officer Luca reporting for duty. It's almost time to meet your first dinosaur. I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in this atmosphere. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Commander Ollie said we should first set up an exhibit. Exhibits are where your dinos live. You design exhibits to match your dinos needs and increase dino happiness. For now, let's create a simple exhibit for your first dino. Select the wood fence to build an exhibit. Now, I mentioned that it's kind of like a theme parky sort of. Uh, it, it's it's closer to the theme park than it is to Jurassic World. Pro perhaps a, a better one would be to um, Zoo Tycoon. Really, it it has a lot more in common with Zoo Tycoon. So let's draw out a fence there. Click, then draw another fence. Click. I like that little line there. Very nice. Makes makes planning so much easier. There we go. We have made an exhibit. Click on the fence, doors, and then click doors tab. Select door, build a door on top of the exhibit fence. Very well. We will have a door. Uh, we'll have a door right here, I think. Bump. There we are. Donation box. Pax here. I piloted the crash ship into your uh, planet. Your money is very shiny. We should really be collecting as much of this stuff as possible. I invented a way to collect these coins in bins called donation boxes. Well d done, Pat. I mean, I, well, let's not tell him they were already invented. Just, just let him have this. Uh, right, okay, so donation box. Offer a way for your guests to donate to your park. Very important. <laughs> I will put the donation box right about here, right next to the fence. There we go. First best friend. Let's get you a... First dinosaur, 
This is a very exciting. Uh, this is very exciting for everyone involved. Uh, we can go with Stegosaurus or Triceratops. Uh, well, I know the Lady Sheila was started with Stegosaurus, so we're gonna go Triceratops. There we go. Place an egg in the exhibit. Open your inventory, take out the egg, pop it on the ground. Pop. There we go. Town is a great place to buy food, accessories for your dinos, or get loans. You can visit town any time during the day, even at night time. Uh, okay. Well, it's not really during the day then. Okay, we've got to go and buy six plants. So, off to the town we go. We've got the uh, places that are closed. We can buy gems, hats. Oh, fantastic. We can get dino hats, eggs, meat, or the vegetables. Very well. Wait a second. Hang on there a moment. I... No. No, I want to go back out for a sec. Ah, I can't go back out. It appeared to me. There we go. Am I buying vegetables from a talking plant? Isn't that like selling your children? My lord. Uh, click on town at the top of the screen. Uh, click on the vegetable store and purchase six plants. Very well. I will purchase. We can actually add them daily as well, but we'll just buy six plants. Nice and easy. There we go. Got a lot of money, which is quite nice. Got some science points, too. Now, what do I need to do? There are many different types of dino feeders. Upgrading and researching new dino feeders gives various bonuses to your dinos. Your new dino is a vegetarian, so let's get a vegetarian feeder. Very well. Uh, exhibit key. There we are. Small vegetarian feeder. Let's, let's put the food... Somewhat in the middle, but towards the front, so that we'll encourage our dino to, to be there, so people can see. Caring for your dino's best friend is a lot of work. Or for your dino best friends, rather. Employees are a great help by doing many of the tasks in the park. Veterinarians are the primary caregivers for your dinos. Let's hire one. Very well. Uh, right, so we want to go to the resume. We have got janitors, scientists, security, and veterinarians. Uh, let's have a look. More resumes as well. We've got... Let's have a look. So, speed, ability, personality. Let's see what these do. How quickly an employee does a task. How efficiently an employee does a task. How well the employee interacts with guests. Okay, well, <laughs> you're amazing. But, uh, no, I want someone who's better for the dinos than, than the people. The only difference would be speed at that point. No, we're going with... Uh, uh, Lankissia. Can I change your name? Oh, I can't. I can't rename you. That, that's a bit of a shame. Hiya. Okay. You can always look up this information again in the Dinopedia, located in the office. Work ethic. Assign task. You can assign the task uh, to your employees. Okay, very well. Uh, let's go and watch the veterinarian go and feed the dinos. Can I change your name? Can I rename you at all? Can I change your name? No, I can't. Oh, drag. That's a shame. I think it would have been amazing if I could have gotten all, all sorts of dapplings in here tending to the dinos. I do happen to know you can't name the dinos, though, so you're just going to have to have to content yourselves with being the dinos rather than being the ones caring for them. The exhibit pane is a great tool to inspect the type of biome or biodiversity in your exhibit. Every dino species has a particular biome they prefer to live in. You can create a biome in your exhibit by first placing a base tile, and then morph the biome by modifying the wetness and terrain. Okay. Now, this is really, really nice, because you do actually um, modify the uh, exhibits quite actively. So, click on the fence. Currently, uh, drag grass tiles across your exhibit to create a forest biome. Let's have a look at you so far. It doesn't tell me what anyone particularly wants. Place tiles to create a biome. It's... Right now, privacy, 35% represent the average privacy of each tile in the exhibit. Okay, well, let's go ahead and pop down some grass. So, there we go. It is now a forest. Add water to your exhibit to morph from forest to rainforest biome. Use the biome graph located in the exhibit pane as a guide. So, here we are, right down there. It's not very wet, and it's not very rugged. If we made it much more rugged, it would become a tiger. Uh, and if we made it much more wet, it would become a rainforest, but not too rugged. Biodiversity, trees, bushes, rocks. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, so first and foremost, we need to alter the terrain. We're going to add in some water. Uh, let's put a little watering hole, perhaps around here, maybe. And uh, get a nice big old water pool there. Let's have a look at what that looks like over on that side. That's okay. 
Let's get another pool over here as well. I'm not finished yet. Trish. There you go. I'm going to make it just so. Every biome has an ideal ratio of trees to bushes to rocks. This ratio is called the exhibit biodiversity and contributes to your dinosaur's habitat score. Trees, bushes and rocks can only live in particular biomes. Note that trees and bushes often need to be near water sources. Okay, very well. So, we want some biodiversity in here. Uh, scenery, there we go. Right, build trees in the exhibit. Let's see. It's a little bit more shallow, whereas that is a lot deeper. It's actually pretty cool. I like that. So, uh, pine. Oh, okay, then we'll pop down some pine trees. Bomb. There's a couple. Uh, one or two more. There we are. Doesn't seem that you can go over the amount. Now I've got to place down some bushes. Uh, apparently it wants a quince. Or quincy, maybe. A good bush for forest. Rainforest and taken. I have no idea how you want to say it. Take a tiger. I've heard it said so many different ways. And it all just, just abuses me in the end. Sometimes it does suck not being a native English speaker. Uh, we also have that one there. Just under the, under the tree. Looks lovely. Now, build rocks suitable for grass in your exhibit to raise the biodiversity. Very well. We've got basalt. We've got granite. So we've got lots of basalt, actually. No, I want granite. Please and thank you. Pop some down around here. You can rotate things if you want to. Um, I guess we could have some basalt. No, let's go for a nice big gigantic rock. That. Womp. That's pretty cool. And I guess I'll put down some of the ones you want. There we go. Good. Hooray. Also, I'm going to sneeze. Ah! Don't hold your sneezes in. It's very stupid. Ow. Time to open the park so guests can visit. You can close your park at any point. Just remember, guests give donations and buy tickets. That is very, very true. Very true indeed. Right. Check on the enrichment booth. There we are. And uh, building colors. Require the park size of uh, pack one in the scenic tree. Okay, so building the admission booth. Ticket price. I want it to cost seven. Look, you're getting to see a dinosaur. Come on now. Also, I suppose I should actually wake the dino up, shouldn't I? Um, a janitor is a key member of staff in your park. A janitor can repair fences, pick up garbage, empty toilets, and more. A janitor automatically does tasks around the park, such as picking up garbage. Go to the office and hire a janitor. Very well, let's go and do that then. Janitor uh, picks up trash, repairs fences, cleans bathrooms, personality. Yeah, I think it would be nice to have a nice friendly janitor. Uh, you're not particularly fast, eh? You're a little bit faster. How many janitors have we got? Now, I think they're much the same, really, but though. You're just slightly. He did very well. I will accept you. Let's get you in here. Hired. And then back we go. Now, uh, watch the giant to clean up garbage. Well, it would help if we had a dino. Clonk. Oh, oh it's awake now. Kobe. No, 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 no. Kobe shall in fact be Bubbles. There we go, Bubbles. Uh, for this first episode, and in fact, throughout everything, I will be picking names from the patron name list. But uh, if you leave your name down below, uh, in reply to the comment that I'm going to be leaving and pinning on this video, then those names will also be included in the name raffle, as usual. Uh, I can request tranquilization. I can enter DinoCam. They all sound amazing. Click the janitor, click on the icon above the janitor, and move them to a different location. Pip, you can use the employee view to do this. Uh, are you my janitor? Yes, you are. I would like to pick you up. Oh, what? Uh, computer. Chart. The end of the day is a good time to look at the all aspects of your park. Hearts. Hearts are awarded at the end of the day for every dinosaur that is happy or super happy. Oh, that's lovely. You can always look up this information again in Dinopedia. Very well. Uh, I, I've got to go and deal with the janitor right now, so I, unfortunately I can't see this, but, uh, oh, our dino isn't happy. That makes me sad. We can see that paid to employees quite a lot of money, and generally our funds are going down, but, ah, it's fine, it's fine. It'll get better, I promise. So, need to move you around, so, chunk, you go over there.
this has been a lot of park training. Let's have guests arrive at the park to make some money. I, I think that would be actually a stonkingly good idea, yes. Hopefully, guests will start arriving. Look at that! People have par- Are they actually gonna park and then go- Oh, that's amazing! Where are they coming from, though? Oh, they're coming from the wood. Did they actually? Oh, that's fantastic! What did you just drop off? Hello? I have no idea. But we've got a lot- That's a very small car for three- Is the car small, or are the people giant? Are you enormous people? Could you fit in there like like you were clowns? Perhaps they are they are giant clowns. I mean, you know, we've got talking dinosaurs that landed here in a spaceship, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too surprised. Nothing has ever gone wrong in a dinosaur park, especially movies about dinosaur parks. Trust me. Just in case, how about we give our security some practice in case one of your dinosaur best friends decides to adventure outside that exhibit? Then to try and call the dinosaurs. Okay, I'm gonna have to get some uh, security then, I imagine. Let's see then. Uh, find dinosaur footprints by... Oh no, that's the scientist. Uh, tranquilize dinosaurs that have gotten loose. Very well. Uh, Kalach. Six. Uh, you're, you're nice. You chat to people well. Uh, wow. You're here. Alpha... At what? Well, I... Either Alpha doesn't understand Roman numerals, or their name is actually Alpha... Or Alpha... Or maybe it's a combination, it's hard to tell. Maybe it's Alpha... We're gonna go with that. There we go, Alpha... We, you are hired. Welcome to the park. Right, okay, so... I don't really want to tranquilize Bubbles. Bubbles has done nothing wrong. Oh, Bubbles has, needs more privacy. Needs more private exhibit. Being looked at by too many people right now. Very happy about getting food, though. And health is quite high. Social is low. They need more peoples. Okay, well. Sorry. I'm sorry, Bubbles. Alpha is going to come and tranquilize you. It's not what I wanted, but... Okay. How does this go, then? Can I go into Dino's eye view? Flee, Bubbles! Dino's eye view. Bubbles, run! Flee! That's right, hide in the bush. They'll never see you. Oh, time to get this. Oh, well, at least we can definitely see that the tranquilization wasn't too much, and that uh, bubbles is okay. Can I? Can I stop? Can I stop? Not? Can I? Can I not be watching you anymore? Oh, thank goodness! I thought I'd I'd gotten caught. Uh, click on your tranquilized dinosaur. <laughs> Pet carry. That's amazing. Uh, okay, open the inventory and put them back in the. Wow, that thing. That. That was very tiny, wimey, spacey, wasty. Way that, that was tiny when I put it in my backpack. Let's explore the world of science. Science credits are used in the science tree to unlock useful upgrades and items for your park. The most common way to generate science credits is to have scientists work at a science building or at a science presentation. Anyone? Build a science building. There are many types of building, but we're going to build a science one. Research station. Your scientists research science points in this building. Very, very well. Uh, I would like to rotate it. Uh, we'll pop it all right there. Uh, okay. You can always look up this information in the Dynapedia. Uh, generate science credits. Generate science credits. Pick up scientists. Place onto science node. Science nodes are found on science buildings and presentations. Okay. Oh, my lord. I'm very glad that all of you managed to avoid being smacked in the face by that falling building. All right. Scientists. Wow, those glasses. Uh, okay, ability, we've got one person with ability five. Not very good at talking with guests, though. We've got someone with, like, ability... Let's see. I'm gonna go, go with, uh, see, Wallax. He has such good glasses, though. But it's gonna be Wallax. Alright, let's get you, get you in the park. Where is Wallax? Uh, Wallax is probably off to do sciencey things. Where are you going, Wallax? I have no idea, but I'm not going over there. Yoink. There we go. Generate some science. Uh, we can certainly try. Uh-oh. Uh That's wrong. Very unhappy with the uh, shocking lack of privacy in this, in this exhibit. Okay. Can we perhaps help? No visibility. I'm going to 
Or maybe if I just place the walls at the back and the sides with actual fencing. Maybe that would help. And, and because I've got a little bit of it. Really, do you have to laugh at Bubbles, Bubbles' distress? You scallywags, you. Still not particularly, uh, well, I mean, they're still all looking from the same area, really. Uh, the average visibility in here isn't, isn't so bad. The privacy is 40%. Over here, Bubbles should be a little less worried. No, no, she isn't. Hmm. Is there a way that I can have a look at that, perhaps? Uh, I can't quite see. Uh... Uh, that is that is worrisome, to say the very least. Perhaps we can maybe make it a little bit more private at the back there, or, or maybe even just tuck this little area in. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Let, let's try and do that. I, cause I, I, I worry about bubbles. And that seems to be one of the biggest things that's concerning her. Uh, that being said, getting more dinos would also help. Happiness is only 54%. Yeah, let's uh, let's add in a bit more. We'll pop this down for now. Sorry, sorry, peoples. I know, I know you came here to be able to... Bubbles is overwhelmed by the lack of props. I'm trying to fix it. Oh, Bubbles. That's double speed. That's right, Bubbles. You go over there where it's nice and private, I'm hoping. There we go. Time to expand the park with more dinosaur best friends. Use the portal to go dig up skulls and footprints to be used in egg store. What? Um. Sure. Okay. Bubbles, when will your privacy go up? I've made this beautifully enclosed environment where my guests can't see a thing. But you still seem to be completely non... Happy with it. There doesn't seem to be any privacy, so I'm going to put that back for now. Alright, so up to the portal. Use the portal to take a journey to unknown lands and dig up fossils and footprints the easiest way possible. Maybe something will even follow you back home. Uh, all right. Uh, let's look for... Yeah, sure. Let's look for Stegosauria. Open the portal. Time period. Select the time period below the portal to determine what dino parts to dig up. And scientists dig. Use your current scientist to dig up skulls and footprints. Each of the scientists has a unique dig type. Oh, okay. Yoink. Have expedition team arrive at the dig site. Exploring takes a little time, so explore your park and return later. Very well. Uh, I wonder if perhaps we just made it bigger? Maybe drove it further back? Or, oh, wait. Privacy view? That's super private all, all the way over here. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. View my exhibit. 40% represent the average privacy of each tile in the exhibit. I'm not sure about that one. I'm really not sure. Crowd private. Yeah, it should be pretty private over there. Oh well, well, we'll see how that goes. Now, how long will this take? Oh wow, they're taking a long time to get down there. Very well. Let's just let time pass. And I could add a couple of other things. Park is closing in 25 seconds. End day now. Uh, we got a fair old bit of uh, donations there. Tier reward, ticket sales, not bad. Total, quite a lot. Marvellous. Uh, okay. Bubbles is actually a little bit happy. We've gained a heart. How lovely. How very lovely. Uh, Dabadel has got 2.28 stars. Alba House. I really wanted to see Bubbles the dinosaur, but the exhibit was too crowded. Zankis. Do you host weddings? Parak. Bubbles is a bit old news. Oh! <gasps> How dare you, you scoundrel! They had my favourite dinosaur species! I named my first child after Bubbles! So excited! Well, I mean, I, I mean that's, a, that's a nice counterpoint, but I... Hmm, why would you do this to your child? Uh, th that is, uh, Bubbles is a lovely name, but naming it after a dinosaur... I, I, I just, I don't, I don't know if that was a, a sane move. So it's like people who name their, their children Captain... Tiberius Picard or something. It's like, mm, too many people around Bubbles. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think that is something we're going to have to work on. Hopefully, we get the ability to work on it shortly. It's now spring. How are we doing? It's going to take forever. My lord. 
Good bill. Uh oh. I mean, you're reasonably happy. Okay, everything looks good with the privacy today. Uh, it's because there are not a bajillion people watching you. Now that is going to change, I'm afraid. What on earth was that parking there? And how do you all fit in that car? My lord. Ah. Okay, it's got very little to do with the actual exhibit and much more to do with the amount of people outside the exhibit. Okay, we'll bear that in mind. Okay, our expedition has arrived. Return to the portal. Click on the dig button, click on the scientist, click on the dig site to remove dirt. Be careful. Find two footprints. Okay, Wallax. Okay, you got an enormous area that you get to, to look at. Uh, I seem to have a lot more energy though. So, I'm going to quickly poke my head around. And see what I can find. Uh, we can see there's something there. And see if there's any particular reason to get you looking in an area. Okay, we've got a bit of a better idea now. Uh, there's a lot of stuff around there. Whomp. Oh dear. What just happened there? Oh yeah. Um, why did they break? Oh my lord! You dig down! You dig through several layers! I had no idea. That's awesome! Dig there. Okay, we've got loads of skulls. I need more footprints there. That is cool! For a, for a moment, I was like, well, sure, there was stuff there. I don't, I don't understand. But no, we were digging through the ground. That is awesome. I approve. Quite heartily, in fact. Uh, let's go for this. There we are. But we know that there is more there. So let's uncover that one as well. I appear to have quite a lot of energy. Uh, alas, I have I've misused my energy. Much sad. Luckily, we already earned a gem from earlier. Go to town and visit the egg store. I, I'm sure you were saying loads of things that I was I was too too enamored by the puzzle. Right. Let's go to the egg store then. Uh, we need... Uh, Ceratopsia footprints, Ceratopsia skulls, and imperfect gems. Uh, we can make all sorts of things, actually. Oh, that's pretty cool. Try Ceratops, please. Create. Uh, clearly, I was lied to about all of this, uh, all of this amber nonsense. No, no, no. You just need to feed a chicken footprints and skulls and gems, and then it lays you a dinosaur egg. It, it makes perfect sense when you think about it. Remember the science credits? What are they good for? Let me tell you. Science credits are used to unlock science technologies, such as new buildings, upgrades, and perks. Go to the science tree and unlock a science technology. Very well. Science tree. Click down and hold to fill the beaker to unlock a science technology. In the science tree located top right. Uh, we can get box laurel, box laurel corner, potted fern, uh, fedora, Tom's one ton truck, uh, Tulum taco shop, and common gems, smart water, uh, employee building, info sign A, stone science presentation, and cool glasses. Uh, I guess we'll open. Let's go for this one. That's going to require 300, so... Whoop. There we go. Well, I've taught you everything I know about being a good dinosaur park manager. There is much more to explore, but you're on your own. To, uh, but you're on your own to gaining park fame and become a great park manager. From all... Oh, thank you very much, Ollie. I'm glad you have faith in us. Have 20 guests in our park. Uh, I can certainly try to do that. But first and foremost, I think we're going to go ahead and get a new exhibit up and running. Uh, we are going to have the exhibit be around the same sort of space down here. Not just saying down there. We're going to build up this all the way up top. And then we're going to switch to a new wall type. And bring that down to here. And then up a bit, I think. Sure, let's make it a nice big exhibit, shall we? 
And then all the way back down. Pomp. New exhibit. Hooray! Do I need to get rid of these? Uh, oh, it's a tree that has no water. Very well, that's, that's fine. Uh, I need a fence. I would like the fence to be right about there. There we go. Perfect. No food for you there. Oh, no. Uh, uh, right out. I've, I've got a bubbles. I'm sorry. It didn't tell me to buy more. I should have bought more anyway. Let's just buy some plants. Also, I would like this to be delivered. This is a medium quality food for dinosaur vegetarians. Food is placed in the feeder by a veterinarian. Yes, add to daily. Um, and I'm about to get more, so buy me two daily, please. Daily deliveries. There we go. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Bubbles, it, it's okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, we need exhibits. We want the feeder. We'll have the feeder. Somewhere nice where, where people can spot them. We'll also pop down the Triceratops skull. Pop. Uh, skull, I mean egg. Donation box. There we are. Pop the donation box right there. Okay, now we need to make this into a biome, don't we? So, first and foremost, let's make this into grass. Oh my lord, I just realized that. Don't place that down yet. I need to know what type of. Hmm. I. I I'm going to assume that a Triceratops likes grassy biomes. There we go. Uh, we will also... Let's have a look at this one. Now, I have no idea what that's going to require. Tile ground... Ah, biome rainforest. Size medium, parent... E what? Oh, who the dinosaur thinks its parent is? It's okay. It's fine. I approve. <laughs> Ah, we were about to have a very, very awkward discussion. Uh, right. Put this down, let's get a nice little bit of water in here. Make it a nice little environment. Make sure, ooh, we're almost there to rainforest. Get some more water. Oh, did I not put water in there? I did not, apparently. Let me... Oh, that's actually kind of nice. I like that. No food to refill feed it. What the shit... Uh, can I get a little bit more water? Like a bit more water in here. Oh no! Oh no! That that's that's not what I was. Hmm. It's not quite what I was aiming for. Ah. Uh. Okay. Check. Uh. We didn't make quite as much money this time. Uh. That that's fine though. It's fine. And I'm also making a really not particularly suitable environment over here. So this is a bit harder than it first looked like. I'll be honest with you. Can I? Can I? Maybe just. Can I? I hmm. Can I just rise that up? Maybe. I mean that that'll do a little bit actually. It seems that you've got some quite a lot of control over this. Food delivery has arrived. Good, good, good. Put some more water in. Sort of. Ish. It sort of ish works. Kind of. Maybe I can fill this up with more water later. Anyway, it's clearly a rainforest now. <laughs> oh, my lord. Delivery has arrived. Let's go and check this. Plants! Please. Apply plants to feeders. Alright, now while that's going on, let me go and uh, begin working on the exhibit. Uh, scenery, there we go. We need. Rainforest water tool. Ooh, oh my lord. Sure, let's get a gigantic tree. And then just go for pine, pine trees. Dot it around. And we want some bushes. Get a couple around there. These little ones. And then some rocks. Lots of rocks that would not be suitable for this. Let's put quite a few rocks around here. Then. Uh, simply because that little area seems to make sense for them, frankly. Uh, there as well. There we go. Super biodiversity. I approve. I think with that, it looks like we have to wait a little bit before we can hatch the egg, though. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Perhaps I should go back to the portal. Uh, we'll wait on that one, though. Lots of people popping in. Fantastic. I approve. And... Hooray! Oh, almost. 
There we go. Pop. Yay. There we go. Now, let's go and have a look at Bubbles. How are you doing? Well, actually, you've got a social need, so... Hmm. Well, having a spare exhibit is not a problem. Is this exhibit big enough? No food to refill feed it. Well, crap, maybe I need to increase the order. I'll go for four per day. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. There we are. But maybe what we can do is even get you over in here. Maybe that would make Bubbles feel a little bit better to have a friend. Bubbles is only three days old. Oh, that, that's lovely. But before we go, Gertrude, I like the name. We're not keeping it, but I do like the name. Uh, you shall be Rivsun. There we are. Bubbles and Rivsun. But that's where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed. Do let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking about the game so far. And uh, we will see each other again in the next episode, no doubt. Perhaps even today. We may go for a two-episode day if uh, if it seems that people are enjoying this. But that is it from me. So until next time, and as always... Do take care, everyone. Hooray for completing the objectives.